All right, it's the 20th of May, and I'm actually going to fertilize my, my angled loofah plants to try to improve the yields. As far as these guys right now, it seems like between three plants, I'm getting about uh, one of these every two or three days. It was only harvest a little bit, so I want to probably get one or two every single day if I can. And it also seems to be stalling out where it's producing a little less and less where it should be increasing. And I have fertilized this ever since it was maybe like two or three feet tall, so. Stem's a pretty decent size, it's about getting close to a half an inch in diameter, but I want to try to get it closer to an inch or more. Because the bigger the stem, the more it can produce. And also, especially on this one, the soil is actually eroding away, so it's ex exposing some roots, which is not so good. So, what I really need to do is need to really improve the soil. So, what I'm going to start with right here is my Pennington Fast Action Gypsum. Stuff right here. Let's get about a couple, and this is to help loosen up the soil a little bit. Don't really need all that much, but wherever roots are grown, just want to get it all throughout evenly. And you don't want to get everything really close to the root balls because you don't want to burn it. And then next I'll go with some magnesium sulfate or dip or up and salts. Stuff just looks like this. Looks just like white salt. Sometimes they can come in chunks, but that's what happens. I'll just take them out and break them up a little bit. And I'll put them around the root zone. Gotta get it as evenly as possible throughout while the roots are growing. And finally, I'll need some NPK. And what I have here is uh, 20 pounds of uh, Gavota 10-20-20. Usually I don't really want a big nitrogen number because that would result in a lot more foliar growth and what I'm looking for is production. So I have this tropical fruit and vegetable fertilizer. And like the rest, I'll take a cup full. Right here, I'll just sprinkle it all across all three plants. I actually just harvested one up here, and it looks like all oh, these are struggling to even produce anything. So, yeah, these are all failing to produce. Very important to start fertilizing it. <laughs> Ideally, I'd like to have each plant build a handle producing five to ten foods each at any given time, but right now, it seems like each of them are struggling to handle two.
Also have some compost here to dress on top of everything. Once I get all the soil up here, I'll usually like to mix it in. Mix it well. Oof. Mix the soil as well aerated, and I'll just to water it in. Just so was, these plants can get the nutrition right away. And this compost also improves the soil because it adds organic material, which in turn improves the overall soil composition. So I can reach, uh, hold more water, and it can also increase increase the uh, bacterial activity. Just like that. Now I'd have to water it in, and should be looking a lot better within the next week or two. All I really have to do is break up the top surface so oxygen can, yeah, oxygen moisture can get in relatively easily. Oh, I got this massive centipede here, but well, it can do its thing. Doesn't really eat any of the plants, so I don't care. So after all, so no, no, I'll just give it a quick shower. Making sure all this stuff gets soaked in. Through mesh should expand about a meter far so far. But once this whole trellis fills up, it's probably gonna get to two or three meters. That's about it.